Many cosmonauts were happy about Kreskin's recent airdrop, therefore the project gained a lot of attention. Besides, the current LP rewards on Kreskin are very attractive for many investors. But why are these rewards so high? What is the Cree token all about and how will the project join the fight for liquidity among other DeFi projects in Cosmos? This is what I will explain to you in today's episode. But before I forget, please make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and give this video a like. This triggers a YouTube algorithm and leads to a Cree pump on the other hand. And now let us dive deeper into Crescent. Before diving deeper into the project, let us get a broad overview of Crescent. So, what is the Crescent project all about? First of all, it is important to mention that Kreskin was formerly known as Gravity Dex. That said, Gravity Dex struggled to establish itself in the interchain, so the project was relaunched as Kreskin. Kreskin is about to become a dominant DeFi hub in the interchain. But what does that mean? Kreskin has an AMM element, so users can swap different tokens back and forth on Kreskin. Besides, it's also possible to do liquid staking on Kreskin. But more on this in a minute. Further down the road, users will also be able to trade derivatives on Crescent. In case you do not know yet, derivatives represent the largest part of today's financial system. Derivatives are financial contracts between two or more parties that derive their value from an underlying asset, group of assets or benchmark. For example, there are Bitcoin derivatives, gold derivatives, oil derivatives and many uncountable more. Also further down the road, Crescent will launch a lending product which will increase the level of capital efficiency even more. But what is Crescent's architecture all about? Crescent is a Cosmos hub and its own blockchain. Crescent's consensus algorithm is proof of stake. So people can help secure the chain with their assets while getting rewarded for it. Also Crescent is IBC enabled. IBC is a Cosmos native communication standard that allows blockchains to communicate with each other. That said, Crescent is highly interoperable and you won't have any problems moving your funds from for example Osmosis to Crescent. If you want to learn more about IBC, check out our episode where I explained IBC in one minute. Another exciting aspect of Crescent is that users can also do liquid staking on Crescent. In case you do not know what liquid staking is. When staking Atom for example, you lock your assets away and can't touch this staked position unless you unbond your Atom and wait for 14 days. Of course, this is not so good in terms of capital efficiency. However, the staked position definitely has an economic value. Liquid staking is about using this staked position in DeFi. You get representative tokens of this staked position. And these tokens can be used in DeFi to, for example, collateralize a loan or provide liquidity. As already mentioned, you can do liquid staking on Crescent. You can stake your Cree tokens and get B Cree tokens in exchange. These B Cree tokens can then be used to provide liquidity. Crescent's recent airdrop gained a lot of attention as it was pretty generous to many users. The airdrop got multiplied by the following aspects. If you staked Atom on the 1st of January 2022, you were eligible for the airdrop. Your claimable amount got doubled if you provided liquidity on Gravity Dex before. Your claimable amount doubled again if you also voted on the governance proposal 38 or 58. Finally, your airdrop doubled one last time if you also used Gravity Dex swap at least once. Therefore, many users were happy to claim a very juicy airdrop. If you want to learn how to claim your Cree airdrop, check out the video of our good friend Confident in Crypto. He published a tutorial on how to claim your Cree airdrop very recently. You can find the video by clicking on the link in the right hand corner. But what is the Cree token actually good for and what do the tokenomics look like? Let us start with the utility of Cree. Cree is primarily used for staking. When staking Cree, you help secure the chain and get rewarded for it. Besides, Cree represents a tool for governance. When holding Cree, you can propose and vote on governance proposals. Finally, Cree is being used for paying fees in the network, even though these fees are pretty low. In addition to these utilities, you can also provide liquidity with Cree on Crescent. Also, when providing liquidity for other asset pairs, like for Atom and UST, the rewards are being distributed in Cree. And these rewards are pretty high. 
This is because the team allocated 53% of the Cree supply for ecosystem incentives, including LP rewards. When users explored the liquidity pools on Kreskin for the very first time, they were amazed to see pools with APRs above 500%. Let that sink in. In addition to that, there is also no unbonding period like on Osmosis. When providing liquidity on Crescent, you can take your assets out of the pool without waiting for 14 days. This enables much more flexibility for users and investors. Therefore, many people were of course incentivized to bring their assets over to Crescent. Because of this, one can say that the liquidity war in Cosmos has kicked off. Projects like Osmosis and Sifchain are fighting with Kreskin for liquidity in the Cosmos ecosystem. Let's see which project will be able to take the lead. However, I want to add that the flexible unbonding period on Kreskin also bears a risk. Let's say the whole crypto market experiences a flash crash as we have experienced it many times before. Within a very short period of time Kreskin could lose vast amounts of its liquidity. This could result in a frustrating user experience as there would not be enough liquidity, for example UST on Crescent, as too many people want to sell simultaneously. So everything has its advantages and disadvantages. By the way, if you want to learn how to provide liquidity on Crescent and earn 3 figures APRs, check out our recent tutorial episode. You can find the link in the description below. And if you want to stake your Cree, check out Friends Validator. We at Friends Validator run validators on various chains like Cosmos, Osmosis, Juno, Fmos and more. Find out more information on friends.army or by clicking on the link in the description below. To wrap things up, Crescent is one of the most exciting projects in the interchain right now. Their liquid staking protocol enables a high level of capital efficiency for their users. It is definitely something I will keep a close eye on. The Cree airdrop gained a lot of attention and treated many cosmonauts very generously. Besides, Cree has some very strong tokenomics which could incentivize investors to accumulate more of it on the free market. In addition, Crescent is about to become a dominant DeFi hub in Cosmos which could catalyze the competition amongst other projects such as Osmosis significantly. Therefore, I am personally very bullish on Crescent. However, please note as always that we at DeFi Times are no financial advisors. None of our statements represent financial advice. All content is strictly for informational purposes only. But now let us know what you think of Crescent. Are you staking Cree or providing liquidity? Let us know in the comment box below. Also, please tell us which project we should cover next. Subscribe to this YouTube channel and give this video a like if you want to see Cree pumping. And with that being said, I hope I will see you on Wednesday for another episode of This Week in Cosmos.